everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the tips and tricks and things to help you get a bikini ready body. Just a little disclaimer, if this doesn't work for you, you guys have to realize that not everything works for everyone. This is just to help with tips and tricks. I will be having a fitness routine up eventually. Um, it's just a lot harder to, for me to film a fitness routine because I'm not comfortable with the way I look when I work out. Because as you guys can tell, I am on my weight loss journey right now. And if you guys want fill-ins, like updates and everything, let me know. I will definitely do that. Just comment down below. But these are the things that I go by and these have helped me greatly. So if you guys are overweight like me or you have body image problems, this is a really good video to watch because I have those problems too. I'm sorry, but I do. And I just want to say that everyone's beautiful. Um... Obviously, there's things that everyone can improve, but if you guys want to take the time to improve your body and keep healthy and stay fit, then this is the right video for you guys to watch. So if you're a parent and you guys are watching this, I appreciate my mom so much for even getting me started on this healthy lifestyle, and I really want you guys to help your kids, or if you're a kid, I want you guys to encourage your parents to eat healthy because this is such, I love this way of life now, like before I used to be that girl who sat at my computer, played played like random games. I wasn't even into filming when I did this. Um, if you're not a morning person, like I wasn't, you will change that. Like I have literally, I wake up in the morning excited to go and work out. I just love it. It makes me feel so great and afterwards, and I just, it took me a while to get into it obviously, but you know. This does take a, lot pro a long process. I started in December. This is my personal experience and I'm just going to share this with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Please don't dislike this video. If you guys even hate on this video, please don't because these are the things that have worked for me and I just, I'm just i really proud of myself where I've come and how far I'm going to be going. So if you guys love me, then like this video. I love you guys so much and let's just get started. So the first section I'm going to do is food. So basically when you're eating, you want to eat this much of you still want to eat carbs but you don't want to eat a lot of carbs stay away from white breads try to go to whole grain if you need to um personally what i'm working on doing because i am kind of one of those people who loves her food girl i'm a foodie so basically what i do is i made my mom actually cooks for me so if you guys are cooking by yourselves i will i will try to link some recipes down below if i can um if you guys personally want some recipes that you guys can just email me at fashionbarbie15 at gmail.com and just put in the subject something like healthy, help me get healthy or like recipes or something there just so I know that it's from you guys. And I can definitely send you guys some recipes there um, if they don't have them linked to like a certain website. But I have so many different things to help you guys. So basically what you're going to do is take your plate. I don't actually have a plate upstairs with me because I don't really eat up here. So um, just pretend this is your plate. You want to have at least half of it filled with green foods. Um, examples that you can, broccoli, kale, celery, peas, green beans, um, there's so many different things. And then if you guys don't eat meat, because you do need protein, um, your body does need protein, if you guys don't eat meat, beans, lentil, um, lentils, and eggs are really good. In my lunch, I personally keep... Um, today actually for lunch I had um, an egg, pears, apples, this um, quinoa. Quinoa is really good. It's a really good substitution for rice. You can have rice every once in a while if you want, um, but I personally have quinoa because it tastes so good. I hated it at first. You can ask my mom. I hated quinoa at first, but I've gotten so used to having it. It just has to get into your diet. I'm working on trying to get spirulina into my diet, which is really good for green smoothies. Um, but that will be in the drinks area, so I'll tell you guys about that in a little bit. But um, that's just all really good things. You want to make sure that you're just eating the right food. So try to stay away from fatty f fast food restaurants that give you so many calories for barely anything. And um, definitely when you guys are going out to eat, try to limit yourself and not eat the whole plate. Because I know I do this personally. I don't... I don't realize how much I'm eating until it's all gone and then I feel a stomach ache. Whoa. So um, some things that I can work on personally is the sweet tooth. If any of you guys have sweet tooths, comment down below because I know I do. But um, 
For my sweet tooth, I like to have a chia pudding, which is really good. Take, basically what you do is you take chia seeds, you gel them into like a gel form, so you like you put them in like water and you let them turn into like these little bead things. And then I put chocolate chips in or chocolate powder. Um, I try to take, I take care of chips, actually not chocolate chips. Um, and those are really good. Um, I personally have that in my lunch every once in a while. It's a lot better for you than a chocolate bar. And also what you can do is if you have that sweet tooth and you are just really, if you're my age and you don't go on a diet, you guys, please don't. Don't starve yourselves. I wanted to put that out there really fast. Don't starve yourself and don't go on a diet. What I do is just eat healthy, make better choices. I personally am working on making better choices. So as you guys can tell, I'm on this journey too. And we can be on the journey together. You guys can kick me, message me. Um, I'm here for you guys. I'll have all my links down below. You guys can always message me on those things. I really love talking to you guys. And I know that there's so many people that I'm actually on the journey with now um, that message me because they first found out off my Instagram because I've been posting lot of more like body photos if that makes sense um I was I actually posted a photo of like my weight loss and everything and so I thought that was just a lot of people like that one I was really happy and then I started getting massive amounts of kicks and things and there was actually this girl who was kicking me today and she was so sweet and we just started talking and I'm not gonna say her name or anything but she is younger than me by three years and she was so sweet and I just want to say that everyone, you guys, I know I have personally like really bad body image. Like when I tried on certain clothes and everything, I just don't feel confident in them. Like I've never felt as confident as I feel now. Just healthy eating makes you feel better about yourself. So if you eat healthy in the long run, you're going to feel better and you're going to like turn away so many bad problems that might come up. So the next section is drinks. Your number one drink is water and this baby is the thing that you're gonna be drinking all the time. Second of your favorite is a green smoothie. So for your green smoothies, there's a lot of nutrients you can get from those. You wanna drink that right after. You don't wanna wait very long because you want that nutrients to just get sucked up and be like, yay, and then it'll like, it'll automatically be filtered and used and it'll be amazing because it'll be burning calories. It'll be the good calories too, so that'll be awesome. There's some things that you want to incorporate in your green smoothies. So, spirulina will make your smoothie green like that. Stay away from soda and sugary drinks and unnatural food and unnatural sweeteners. Um, processed food is basically your enemy for this. But um, there's so many different recipes um, that you can always find online. And then smoothies, um, spirulina is super healthy and it's a great way to get protein. Um, there's certain things that you can actually put in your smoothies. I'll list them now. Um, spirulina, spinach, kale. Um, if you have spirulina, you don't really need protein powder. I mean, you can still put it in there, but you don't really need it. Um, bananas, almond milk, water, ice. Like, you just want to put in all those good fruits and vegetables. So, the next thing is workout. When you're working out, you want to crank up the intensity. And what I personally do for my workouts is I crank up the intensity in the morning. I do like a 40-20 kind of workout. And um, I work out for about 45 minutes every morning. And I just crank up that intensity to a level 10. And basically what that means is when you're cranking up the intensity, you are working as hard as you possibly can. You're sweating bullets. When you're doing this, you want to just crank it up, not go like this. So, um, basically what I do is I crank up the intensity in the morning, and then if, you, if I feel like it, I add a walk in at night. This is a really good idea because you are basically recovering your body by taking a walk. You don't want to work out twice a day. You can obviously, like, you can go swimming. Those are really, that's like a body toning kind of exercise, but it's also a recovery workout, so that's really good. Um, you guys can foam roll. If you guys don't know what a foam roll is, I will definitely include that in my next video. And also when you're working out, you want to focus on your form. If you're doing something wrong, you don't want to keep doing it wrong. Okay, so another thing that you can do is when you're working out, you don't want to have to worry about like having things in your face. You want to wear comfortable clothing. Another workout thing to avoid is your crunches and sit-ups. You don't want to do those because those actually move your lower back in ways that it shouldn't be moved because it'll hurt your spine and you don't want to hurt your spine because that is like one thing that holds you up and 
basically what you guys can do is hold plank. So um, if you guys want to see a whole fitness routine, like this video. If you guys want to see any other videos, comment down below. And um, I'm just going to show you guys how to hold a plank. Held it and you think that you're good enough, you just go down. Pop it up. Just, you're really good. You do. And the next thing we're going to do is a burpee. Is And then you jump out. Jump up. And jump up. Put one hand here and you can put the other hand wherever. And then you go. Then you're going to jump out. Jump back in and jump. So I love you guys so much. Um, thank you guys for always being there for me. It really means a lot. And I love you guys. Bye.